Welcome back, everyone, to more of the Infinite Space. All right. Uh, oops, the cat is clicking on things. Oh God, did you? Oh no. Okay. Oh. Okay. It. It's. Sh... Okay, it's good. All right. Sorry if the screen was moving around there. Cat. Speedy was bumping on my hand while the mouse was off the s wrong spot. And... Uh, let's go farm that last, uh, digit. Come on, give me a random battle. No, come on, give me a random battle. God, I just need, like, one. There we go. <laughs> you fools. Still going. There he goes. Now, how much fame did I get? That might be no. Ooh, Torlo leveled up. Very nice. Yeah, I want my extra to do's. Oh, one point away. Get out of here, you dumb game. Alright, let's go do another thing. There we go. Yeah, this will do it. Oh, where do you think you're running, buddy? No, 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 no. Fighters are way too good. Alright, let's head back. Hopefully get one more fight. Yes! Bumping my hand. Oh, yes. Side of my gun range. Nope, nope, no, maybe not. I'll do it. Alright. Now, a ranking, we're at 89, which means. And why is it showing Kid Yuri again? I don't know, but. Top 90, congratulations. As a reward, you got blueprints for the following modules. Maintenance room 4, briefing room 3, and gym 2. Maintenance room 4 sounds interesting. Let's check that out. Alright, 
it's down here. Ooh, it's smaller and better. Oh, we had to kind of squeeze it in on this ship though, so okay, well, it'll work better on the Bismarck. room in here? I don't. Well, that provides some maintenance with this anyway, so, okay, well, whatever. Alright, well, it's a thing if we want to use it. Oh, wait, what about the gym? We're going to do gym. What is this gym? Commerce experience. Big deal. That thing's way too big for that crap. And we got something else. Can't even remember because it wasn't important. Oh, analysis room two or something. I don't know. Six fighters. If I did two of those, that would only be. Th I can't even fit that in there. Yeah, hangar two is the way to go. What do I have on the Bismarck? Hold on. Wait a minute. What hangar do you have? You got hangar two. Okay. I thought Hangar 2 gave 12 fighters. Must be just depends on the ship that's actually equipping it. So, okay, whatever. That's fine. It's nine more fighters than we, than we had before. Okay, let's get on with some story. Quit fooling around. To the bar. The Queen's decrees are the absolute and final word of the people of Zenito. However, that doesn't mean we are her slaves or anything of the sort. Not at all. It is only through the consensus of the people that Her Majesty passes her final judgments. That is just how our nation is ruled. I fled here after sticking my nose in some risky business that I probably shouldn't have just ignored. Now that I think of it. Thankfully, the long arm of the Federation police doesn't extend into the Xenotonian sector. My partners went on ahead to set up a hideout on a nearby planet. I plan on joining up with them there real soon. It's kind of weird that Zenito's a monarchy, don't you think? I mean, I thought their big thing was to decide stuff by having everyone hash it out, give it, get their say in it. That's true. But to unify its people under a single purpose requires the absolute power of a monarch. Their rulers love harmony and teach their people to seek out peace whenever possible. Yeah? Well then how come they can't agree with the Interplanetary Assembly already? I suppose it's because they are still evolving. The human mind, as well as its thoughts and actions, will never be perfect, no matter how far it evolves. Okay. Took a chance, clicked on it again, and we got the same thing again. All right, let's go see if we can rescue the. I was going about to say the princess, but now it's the queen. Let's go bust some heads. This this does send 
Sensorium Tower? Affirmative. The consciousness of the entire Zenitonian people is integrated. Then it is output as the Queen's royal decrees. It is democracy in its purest form. It looks just like the military qualia net we saw back on Sectoro. Yes, but this is the original one. The one back on Sectoro was a copy the general built to separate the consciousness of his soldiers from the genit genit no, the genital population. Uh, did you mean to say general population? Let's start in the basement. We found all the weird stuff down there. The basement level of the sensorium tower appears to be sealed off at this time. Well, let's look around somewhere else. First floor. It's the first floor of the tower. It is packed with electronic equipment and monitors that give off a strange inorganic glow. I'll just keep my hands to myself. One wrong button press and who knows what will happen. Top floor. With Giorgio in the lead, Yuri and company board the optical elevator and head for the top floor. The elevator stops and its doors open just as they start noticing a faint hum in their ears. What is this place? It looks like the inside of a human body. Kira's observation is an accurate description. The room is filled with an intricate network of crisscrossing tubes that look more organic than mechanical. A lone woman stands quietly near the back. Giorgio, I so feared for your life when your consciousness disappeared from the network. I am relieved to see you are safe. You are far too kind, your majesty. And who are these who accompany you? They have fulfilled the wishes of the Zenitonian people by coming to your majesty's rescue. Well then... They shall have my eternal gratitude, as well as that of the Zenitonians. The Queen is a royal yet kindly presence, and Yuri and company find themselves bowing reverently to her despite themselves. I feel entirely at peace ever since entering Sensorium Tower. It is like I'm meant to be here. No kid. I was just going to say it's kind of freaking me out. My reaction is no doubt an instinctive re response for a member of the Xenotonian race. Wouldn't you agree? It's probably something like how a baby feels in its mother's womb. Yes, that is an excellent analogy. We Xenotonians have long sought to evolve into the ultimate humanoid form. However, our race is now devolving because of people like Rubrico. The sadness I feel threatens to consume my being. What do you mean you're devolving? You see, Rubrico... I can't say that guy's name. Disconnected from the Qualia Net and built his own separate military network. Qualia Net can only reach its true potential when it integrates the will of all of our Zenitonian people. When the will of all of our people becomes one, the individual becomes the group, and the group the individual. There is no strife, hatred, anger, nor envy, only calmness and peace. I believe that is the ultimate state of being that humanoids have always sought. But Rubrico has disavowed the evolutionary path that would have led us there. I see. This is the most curious feeler. Her Majesty is right before my eyes, yet I feel distant from her now that I am no longer attached to the network. Welcome to the real world, my friend. Feeling connected is never a given here. Yes, I spree. Oh, and about that general. We noticed something really strange when we were fighting him. Something strange? Please elaborate if you would. He's a douchebag and he's a zombie. That about sums that up. Yes, I see. So Rubrico keeps returning when he should have already been dead? In all likelihood, he has adopted the cloning technology developed by our military. Yes, but even cloning does not result in the exact same person. Even if you could copy memories to a clone, it is not possible to copy one's consciousness, is it? It is with Qualia Net. 
The process is known as mind transference. As long as there is a cloned body ready, it is possible to transfer one's consciousness before the moment of death. Fascinating! The, the professor claps his hands together in excited awe upon hearing about the mind transfer process. What an incredibly effective use of your, tech, of your network! With this, you can create an army of immortal soldiers if you so desired! This is bleeding edge military technology to the extreme! Professor, can you admire the technology later? First, we have to figure out how to defeat the Rubrico. Hmm. Well, in that case, the only way would be to destroy all his spare bodies. But we have no idea of how many there are or where they're being stored. Yes, yes, that could certainly pose a problem, couldn't it? Okay. Okay. Yes, we know, Giorgio. It's fine. I will do all that I can to help you in your quest to seek out his spare bodies. There must be some information in our network pertaining to their whereabouts. I appreciate the help, Your Majesty. I have but one request. Will you hear it? Of course, go on. Our race has been long plagued by an ever-dwindling population. That is why I beseech you. Please keep the casualties of our people to an absolute minimum. I'll do what I can. That is all I ask, Captain. Giorgio, you are much changed since you were disconnected from our network. This is true. I believe it to be due to the Captain's influence. Yes, I believe he has had a fine influence upon you. Captain, I trust you shall continue looking after Giorgio for us. Yes, I will. Is he, is he joining the crew now? Because I... I'd like to have another person. I don't need him, but it's always fun. Your Majesty, I have a request, if I may. Yes, you may state your request. I would like to help these peoples to the best of my abilities. To that end, I was wondering if you might permit them to use the basement facilities. Very well, then. Here is the tower key. You will need it to gain access. You are most gracious, Your Margarine. Yes, we really appreciate your help, Your Majesty. The Queen nods benevolently in response to Yuri's reverent bow. Okay, I think we're done here. I think we're done. Stop talking. Let's check one more time with the Queen. Uh huh. Okay, we're done here. Let's let's go to the basement. Shut up. What is in the creepy basement? Samples of module blueprint plates are displayed on the monitor. It appears that module blueprints can be purchased here. Yuri stands before the monitor, whereupon his body is laser scanned into a voice guidance system activates the monitor. Welcome to Sensorium Tower. Based on your fame, all items are available to you for purchase. <laughs> Bridge, anti-air, who cares, radar, engine. Hangar 4! Mess Hall 4! Study Hall Lab. Okay. Ooh, I want that. Mess Hall and the Hangar is the one I'm really excited about. Leave. Good up! And I got a new bridge. Alright, let's check it out. So we got the. I need a bridge. Here we go. Ooh, it's tiny. Engage speed of nine. Hold up. Get that out of here. This thing is great. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I can put more stuffs. Uh, we can move that. I guess up there. I don't know. We'll figure. It out. Okay. What else can we put in here? Um, the mess hall. Okay, well, I can't really change it on the ship, but okay, let's see. We got new hangers. Okay, we've already done that. Uh, hanger, hanger. 
20. Wow, okay. It doesn't fit, but hey, it's a thing. We got maintenance four. I'm not putting that in. Oh, the engine room. There's the engine. Come on. Should we up here? Here we go. It's six and seven. Woo! Okay. What is this? Get that up out of here. All right, let's let's put a new engine in. Uh, yeah. We'll dump that in. And we can do a different navigational bridge. We'll put three in. We get a little extra speed and battle speed out of this boat. There we go. Worth it. Okay. <sighs> Bismarck, you're next. Everybody gets the new bridge because that is an amazingly good bridge. that navigating bridge on this one because I can now upgrade to the new engine. Give me that engine boost, baby! Yowza! I'm gonna run out of money. Alright, Dreadnought. You get first dibs because you're HMS Dreadnought. Okay, I can't fit that bridge on this ship. And I think we're going to kind of leave... Yeah, we'll leave these alone because they're kind of tight-packed on what they're doing. Okay, so I get, we got more... Well, we don't have more gauge speed, but we got uh, just better stuff and more mobility out of our ships. Do we have Giorgio? We do not have Giorgio. Why is Giorgio not a thing? Uh, let's go check out the tavern real quick. Talk to friends and see if Georgia will join the crew. Uh huh. We've already talked about this. All right, so nothing there. Okay. Um, where are we heading? You're looking a little down, Yuri. Hmm. Is something on your mind? Oh, I was just thinking about Lugavalos. It occurred to me that they're pretty much the exact polar opposite of the Xenotonians, if you think about it. I'd have to agree with you on that. After all, Xenotonians have no desire to wage war or travel the universe. Right. So that got me thinking. What are you thinking? I don't think I agree with Queen Saphira that her people are on the right path of human evolution. If I had to choose between the two, I'd say I've had a lot more in common with those Lugavalians. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to go and do a bunch of crap, but, you know, stuff happens. Alright, well, we gotta go to Sectoro. That is the next destination. Destroying this building prevent Rubrico from coming back to life? Not exactly. I am scared this may not be the only quality in that tower he has built. Hmm. Ah, oh, come on, Yuri, flip that frown upside down. Because I got an idea. Yeah? What do you have in mind? <laughs> You'll see. But first, we gotta get inside. 
Gotta crack the basement. All those floors look the same to me. Wait, look! There's something over on that console. Let's check it out. Hey, these are blueprints. Whoop de doo. Whoop. Analysis module. First floor. The entire room is filled with stuffed things. Nope, that's not it. Alright, go to the top floor. Exactly like the Queen's room they saw in Nidorand. Looks like we have a place to ourselves. Yeah, but I kind of feel like we're being watched. It's kind of creepy. The arrow tube stretched across one of the walls, and from time to time, pulses of light can be seen shooting through them. Looks like it's alive or something. The hologram monitors throughout the room display an endless stream of numbers and graphs. What do you think? Nah, this isn't what I'm looking for. Freddy walks right over to where the terminals are concentrated, despite the wary looks on the rest of the party. Giorgio, you think that implant coder in your head can connect to this terminal? I gotta find a way to hack into the network. Yes, it is postable, but it would not be long before the security system locked me out. Don't worry about that. You're talking to one gruesome of a hacker here. All I need is one tiny minute. Oh, I get it. You're gonna hack the network so the Rubricro can't come keep coming back like that, aren't you? Bingo! Give the man a prize! Now you ready, Giorgio? Yes, I'm ready to connect. Ah! The moment the terminal's connected to the implant coder in his head, Giorgio's entire body arches back in a spasm. Hang in there, Giorgio! Franny gently reassures him while following the character strings streaming across the panel and furiously typing on the keyboard. Uh-oh! Watch it! I think security's on to him. <sighs> Giorgio grits his teeth and his entire body convulses as if he were being attacked by the security system. Almost in... Ah! Huh? Giorgio! Sparks shoot out from where the terminal is connected to his head, and the next moment the terminal goes flying. At the same time, Giorgio goes limp and collapses to the ground. Giorgio! Are you alright, buddy? I underwent a violent assault on my consciousness, but I believe I am going to be just fine. In a moment, that is. Whew! I thought we'd lost you. Sorry for putting you at risk like that. There is no need for analogies. I was only too glad to help. Fanny, were you able to hack in? I found Rubrico's mind transfer program. That means you were able to stop him from coming back next time, right? It's hard to say. I only had time for a quick and messy hack. But as long as the security program didn't notice, it ought to work. Let's all keep our fingers and toes crossed. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Alright guys, next time on infinite space. We're going to go fight that zombie for the last goddamn time. Later.